Let there be light. I'm Prophet Molite Charles. You can see more of our materials, such as our blogs, our music, and our videos. Peace be still. Matthew 10, 12. And when you come into a house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Mark 4.37 There arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him, and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose, and rebuked the wind, and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Mark 5.34 And he said unto her, Daughter, thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace, and be whole of thy plague. Mark 14.60 And the high priest stood up in the midst, and asked Jesus, saying, Answer of thou nothing? What is it which these witnesses against you? Against thee? But he held his peace. And answered nothing. And again the high priest asked him. And said unto him. Art thou the Christ. The son of the blessed. Luke 178. Through the tender mercy of our God. Whereby the day spring from on high. Have visited us. To give light to them that sit in darkness. And in the shadow of death. To guide our feet. Into the way of peace. Luke. 105. And into whatsoever house you enter, first say, Peace be to this house. And if the Son of Peace be there, your peace shall rest upon it. If not, it shall turn to you again. Luke 24, 36. And as they thus spake, Jesus himself stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. John 14, 25. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said to you. Peace I leave with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let your heart, let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation. But be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John twenty nineteen. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, where the disciples were assembled together for fear of the Jews, came Jesus and stood in the midst and said unto them, Peace be unto you. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus to them again, Peace be unto you. As my Father hath sent me, even so send I you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. John 20, 26. And after eight days again, his disciples were within, and Thomas with them. Then came Jesus, the doors being shut, and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Acts ten thirty six. The word which God sent unto the children of Israel, preaching peace by Jesus Christ. He is Lord of all. Romans 1, 7. To all that be in Rome, beloved of God, called to be saints, grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 2, 8. But unto them that are contentious and do not obey the truth, but obey unrighteousness, indignation and wrath, tribulation and anguish upon every soul of man that doeth evil of the Jew first and also the Gentile but glory, honor and peace to every man that walketh good 
to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. Romans 3.13 Their throat is an open sepulcher. With their tongues they have used deceit. The poison of asps is under their lips, whose mouth is full of cursing and bitterness. Their feet are swift to shed blood. Destruction and misery are in their ways. In the way of peace have they not known. There is no fear of God before their eyes. Romans 5 and 1. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 8, 5. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please God. Romans 10, 14. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Romans 14, 17. For the kingdom of God is not in meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Romans 14, 19. Let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace and things wherewith one may edify another. Romans 15, 13. Now the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Ghost. Romans 15, 33. Now the God of peace be with you all. Amen. Romans 16, 20. And the God of peace shall bruise Satan under your feet shortly. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Amen. 1 Corinthians 1, 3. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians seven fourteen. For the unbelieving husband is sanctified by the wife and the unbelieving wife is sanctified by the husband. Else were your children unclean, but now are they holy. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or sister is not under bondage in such a case. But God have called us to peace. 1 Corinthians 14.32 And the spirits of the prophets are subject to the prophets. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace. As in all churches of the saints. 2 Corinthians 1.2 Grace be to you and peace. From God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 13 11. Finally, brother, farewell. Be perfect. Be of good comfort. Be of one mind. Live in peace. And the God of love and peace shall be with you. Galatians 1 3. Grace be to you and peace from God the Father and from our Lord Jesus Christ. Galatians 5.22 But if the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Galatians 6.15 for in Christ Jesus neither circumcision availeth anything nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy upon the Israel of God. Ephesians 1 2. Grace be to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who have blessed us with all spiritual blessings in heavenly places in Christ. Ephesians 
But now in Christ Jesus, you who are sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. For in, for he is our peace who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us. Having abolished in his flesh the enmity, even the law of commandments, contained in ordinances, for to make in himself of twine one new man, so making peace. And that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross, having slain the enmity thereby, and came and preached peace to you which were afar off, and to them that were nigh. For through him we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. Ephesians 4, 3 Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Philippians 1, 2 Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Philippians 4, 5 let your moderation be known unto all men. The Lord is at hand. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. Colossians 1-2 to the saints and faithful brethren in Christ, which are at Colossae, grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Colossians 3.15 And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also you are called in one body, and be ye thankful. 1 Thessalonians 1.1 1, 1, Paul and Savellus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace be unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. First Thessalonians 5.22 Abstain from all appearance of evil and the very God of peace sanctify you wholly. And I pray God your whole spirit and soul and body be preserved blameless unto the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Second Thessalonians 1 2. Grace unto you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Second Thessalonians 3.16. Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. Always by all means the Lord be with you all. 1 Timothy 1 2. Unto Timothy, my son, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and, the, and Jesus Christ our Lord. 2 Timothy 2 22. Flee also you for lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart. But foolish and unlearned questions avoid knowing that they do gender strifes. Philemon 1.3 Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Hebrews 12.14 Follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Hebrews 13.20 Now the God of peace it brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus, that great shepherd of the sheep, through the blood of the everlasting covenant, warfare, make you perfect in every good work to do his will, working in you that which is well pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen. James 3.14 but if you have bitter envying and strife in your hearts, glory not and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. For where envying and strife is, there is confusion and every evil work. But the wisdom that is from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, and easy to be entreated, full of mercy and good fruits, without partiality 
and without hypocrisy. And the fruit of righteousness is sown in peace of them that make peace. Hey. First Peter 3.10 For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil. In his lips that they speak no God. Let him eschew evil and do good. Let him seek peace and ensure it. For the eyes of the Lord are over the righteous and his ears are open unto their prayers. But the face of the Lord is against them to do evil. 2 Peter 1, 2 Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through the knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. According as his divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that have called us to glory and virtue. Second Peter 3.14 Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that ye be found of him in peace without spot and blemish. Jude 1.2 Mercy unto you and peace and love be multiplied. Revelations 1 3. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. John, to the seven churches which are in Asia, grace be unto you, and peace from God, from him which is, and which was, and which is to come. Grace be unto you, and peace. From him which is, and which was, and which is to come. And from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And from Jesus Christ who is the faithful witness. And the first begotten of the dead. And the prince of the kings of the earth. Unto him that loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. And have made us kings and priests unto God and, our, and his father. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Let there be light. I'm Prophet Molite Charles. You can see more of our materials, such as our blogs, our music, and our videos. You can go to my website, which is prophetmolitecharles.blog. prophetmolitecharles.blog. And see my blogs, get on my mailing list, or subscribe by way of email. So that every time I print a blog, which is usually every few days, you can be on the list and get it directly to you. I also produce scripture meditation music. And you can see that on the website, scripturemeditationmusic.com. On the website, scripturemeditationmusic.com. And I also thank you for your support and your donations to keep us doing what the Lord has called us to do. You can cash out me at Prophet Charles G. That's Prophet Charles G. For Griffin. At any time, you can cash out me. And I thank you for it. Or you can click on the donate button on our websites. Or you can click on the donate button on our websites. And it's still a direct donation to me personally. And I thank God for you. We can use your support and your help. So last but not least, I pray peace and many blessings on you. In the Lord Jesus Christ's name, be blessed. And also pray the fulfillment of your destiny and your purpose. Without hesitation, without hindrance. For everyone that's in the sound of my voice, let it be made manifest.